guys, we got a new toy. And in this video, we're gonna put a bigger motor into it and turn it into a burnout truck. But first, let's unbox it, have a little look at it, see what it does in stock form before we modify it. Check it out, guys, look at the realism. So this thing is four wheel drive, super realistic Ford F450 body shell, ladder frame chassis, two solid live axles, dually wheels on the rear, and a brushed motor. So we have adjustable coilover shocks, sway bars. Here we have a whole load of more techno babble. But I'm not gonna bore you with all that, so I'm just gonna put a link down below where you can get all the specifications from and where you can buy one from. And oh, 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 oh. Coming up in a future video, we have a Kyosho Inferno MP10. 30th anniversary that we're going to build with all the best components and then we're going to take it racing We've also got a new boat. We've got a new X-Max. We've got all these toys here But that's going to be in a future video. So to run it we need to supply a battery now looking through the book I can't actually see anywhere what battery it wants. It says required equipment battery and I can't see anywhere here where it says what battery to use but it does say Connecting a 7.2 directly to the motor can be very dangerous. Oh, monster truck. <laughs> Guys, this truck is now up and running. We had it running, and there's going to be a video on this very soon. All right, battery. So, 2S maybe? Next, we need batteries for the controller. So, steering and power. Oh, ho, ho. So here, look, we can see all the transmission and shafts and everything moving. I reckon we can do better than that. So we want to be able to rip a burnout with this and smoke these tyres up. So number one modification we're going to have to do is fit more power. So in this box we have a few different motors that could be some potential candidates. But first, I think we need to get this motor out and have a look to see what's going to fit. This ginormous motor here, maybe not, we'll see. Oh, what happened? So here's the motor that came out, and I would love to fit this motor. However, it is not going to fit onto this transmission. Also, it's got some weird gear mesh going on. So here I've got a load of pinion gears and... They don't mesh. I have no idea what's going on there, so we're going to have to use the pinion gear that is on the original motor. Now, what I have found that fits is the legendary Ripper motor. But this pinion gear does not fit onto it. So um, let's find the pinion that does. Oh, look at that beauty. Nope, can't find anything. But I have a funny feeling that the pinion gear in this one might fit. Oh, guys, nearly. It's so close. I just can't get the motor close enough to it. If it was a little bit bigger. It would work perfectly. Next victim. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that looks like it could work. Yes! Oh, we have a problem. The motor is too big and it's hitting on this part of the chassis, but I think we can take it off. Perfect. So next, we need to change out the speed controller to power the big brushless motor. And I think for that, too big, too small. Oh, dead. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. I think that'll go. And that one can do 8S. Well, 8S means lots of power. So now we have space for this big controller. Oh my God, guys, look at the size of that compared to the original one. So next, we've got to wire it all up. Right, ready, ready, ready? Boom! Check it out. It's all in there. All we need to do now is find a battery. So here we got two Genzes 4S LiPos. Both together, 8S. And nearly 30 volts. So before, we were 7.4 volts. Now, we're nearly 30 volts. And a bigger motor, and a bigger speed controller. If that doesn't smoke tires, I don't know what will. Or maybe it's gonna smoke the transmission. We'll see in a minute. Oh, body doesn't fit. We have LiPoage in the way. Oh, we have body in the way. Yes! It all fits in there perfectly. Here we go. Moment of truth. A test, baby. Whoa. Guys, that's going to rip. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my god! What's it doing to the poor carpet? Oh! That is completely uncontrollable. There we go. Burnout time. Oh no, what, what's happened? Have we killed the ripper motor? Oh no. Oh, that stinks in there. Oh my God, that ripper motor, guys. That is steaming hot. I think we've done it. These tires are not really very smoky. Oh guys, have we finally killed the ripper motor? Hmm. Something's locked up. Oh, oh, we've got smoke. Ripper's smoking, look. Oh, game over, Ripper Motor, game over. I'm actually surprised that this stock transmission and all the stock diffs and everything have taken it. And look at that, there's not even any rubber really come off the tyre. All right, let's finish it. That's it, game over.